Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the tire wear indicator bar. I'm going to tell you what is it, what does it do, why do you need to worry about it, how what does it look like, where is it on the tire, all those questions I'm going to show you that on 8 different tires, so stay tuned. Now when you drive around on a public road you encounter all different types of conditions, you know snow, mud, ice, rain, dry road, all different types of conditions. Now for the tire to do its job well, it needs to add tread. Tread is that gap in the tire, you see that different designs and patterns, it needs to have enough depth of that. Only if it does, will the tire do its job. If there's not enough tread, the tire is not going to do its job and you won't have grip, so you'll slip, so that's obviously a dangerous thing. When the tire is new, it has a lot of tread on it. As you drive around, the tread wears off, which is normal. And you can drive around up till you have at least 0.06 inch of tread depth left. Below that is technically illegal in a lot of places in Canada and US. And that's what the wear indicator bar does. It lets you know quickly if you have enough tread or you don't, right? If you want to get specific, you can use a tire depth gauge or you can use a coin trick. You can find a lot of that on the internet. But if, if you don't have a gauge, you don't have a coin, the wear indicator bar quickly lets you know if you have enough tread or not. So let's go ahead. Let me show you what it looks like on the different tires. Where do you find it and all those things and we'll talk more about it over there. So we have four different tires over here. We have a pretty worn out all season tire right there. We have a brand new all season tire, right? See, it's brand new. And we have two different winter tires, which are pretty worn down. And we're going to look at all of them. Let's get started with the all-season tire first. That's the tread and that right there. See that block of rubber that runs perpendicular to it? That's the wear indicator bar. See how the tread is not at the same height as the bar right now? That means there's still some good tread left on it. So that was the indicator bar. That was one spot on the tire. Let's see where the other spot is, it's right there. And as you can see, there's a bit of a distance between the two. And that distance between two different wear indicator bars is different for different tires. Some tires, it's really close, some tires it's far, far away. That's a brand new tire. That's what the wear indicator bar is. Obviously, the bar is all the way down there because it's a brand new tire. Let's see where the second bar is, right there and right there. See how close that was? Now that's a winter tire right there and those four chunks of rubber, that's the wear indicator bar there. It's still got some life left on it. And let's see where the other wear indicator bar on this tire is. It's very, very far. Can't even see it. So this tire only has one or two wear indicator bars on the entire tire. Now let's see what it looks like on the other winter tire right there. Just two bars on this one because the tread pattern is different. Right there. Now let's see what the wear indicator bar looks like on a tire that's on a car. In order to check out the front tire, steer the tire all the way to the left or right. So that way the tire is pointing out, makes it easier for you to check out the wear indicator bar. That's the bar right there. And that's the first one. Let's see where the second one is. If you can go a little bit down right there, that's the second one. If you go down, it's there's the third one right there. So. See, the location of wear indicator bars is different for different tires. That's what I'm trying to show with all these different tires. Now, for the rear tire, it's a little bit harder, but you should check the front and rear both because the front tires and the rear tires wear down at a different rate. So you need to bend over there and see under the car, and that's where the wear indicator bar is for the rear tires on this car. It's still got some life left on it, quite a bit of life actually. And that's an example of a pretty worn down all season tire. See that bar right there? It's almost at the same height as the tread. So it's got a little bit life left, left on it and the person who owns this car should think about getting new tires now. But the good part is that the wear is equal from left to right. This is equal wear across the tire, which means it has good alignment. If there's uneven wear, it's just bad alignment. And there's a different tread. See, there's just one chunk of rubber there, that's that right there. And on this winter tire, there is no wear indicator bar. And that's just the way it is. Not every tire has it. About 90% of the tires on the road right now, they do have it. But some tires just don't. And for this, you need to use the coin trick. And there you have it. Now you know what the tire wear indicator bar looks like on all different tires. So go out there, check the tire wear indicator bar on your tire. Make sure you have enough tread. And do this check at least twice a year. Doesn't take a lot of time, takes like two minutes to do it. So go out there, do it, make sure you have enough tread and drive safe. Thank you for watching.